It's the Fort Sydney Derby, live and exclusive on Fox Sports. Yes, wherever you're watching around the country and indeed around the globe, a warm welcome to Allianz Stadium for this, the fourth Sydney Derby between Sydney FC and the Western Sydney Wanderers, Australia's biggest city which splits itself into two on days such as these. Sky blue in the east, red and black in the west. It is a remarkable sporting story. Two clubs who together are less than 10 years old have created an occasion such as this in such a short space of time. It is the derby the game wanted, it's the game that's taken this city by storm and this week there's been a huge scramble for tickets as Sydney's all-time A-League attendance record comes under threat. The contest will be in the stands then as much as on the park. Both sets of fans had their pre-game march to the stadium bringing traffic to a standstill around the ground. The sights and sounds of Derby Day, one of the true joys of being a football fan. In this game, fans don't spectate, they participate. This is Derby Day, Sydney style. A thunderous noise to welcome the two teams. Here's a check on the lineups again. Three changes for the Sky Blues. The big news Alessandro Del Piero will not be involved despite being named in the squad. The Italian apparently wanted to play, but Sydney have decided it's too big a risk. So Richard Garcia will play his role. Mitch Malia gets his first start in nearly 12 months. Ryan Grant replaces Matt Thompson in midfield with Nicky Carl pushed further forward. And Thiago comes into the defence. Seb Ryle deputising at right back for the injured Petch Boic. Now one change for the Wanderers, Aaron Moy perhaps wisely not risked after his concussion last week. So Jacopo La Rocca steps in. Captain Michael Beecham makes his 100th A-League appearance at the home of one of his former clubs. In total, there are five in the Wanderers squad with Sydney FC connections. Bridge, Topo Stanley, Shannon Cole and Brendan Santalab who both start on the bench. And for Sydney, there is no Brett Emerton in the starting squad either due to his back problems. Well, there have been blue skies in Sydney today. Will it be a sky blue night? The home fans will certainly hope so. Excellent conditions. The pitch looks great. Current temperatures a perfect 20 degrees. Tony Popovic, who's enjoyed a week of speculation regarding his future. The Socceroos job, of course, came and went. The talk of Crystal Palace persists, even though he himself has said he will not be going to London. Frank Farina, brutally honest in his assessment of his side's collapse in Brisbane last week, accusing some on his side of a poor attitude, something they surely can't afford in the white-hot atmosphere of a derby here this evening. Now, the delivery of the match ball comes courtesy of Lara Coward, our Foxtel Junior All-Star of the Week. She's from the Claytonville Ravens under-12s. They got to the grand final last season, and she scored the winning goal in the preliminary final to get them there. Derby's demand, the top officials, and many would argue Strebre Dolovsky is the best whistler in the country. He's taking charge of his 93rd A-League game at his second Sydney derby. Paul Satrangelo and Sarah Ho run the lines. Steve Lucas is the fourth official. A couple of milestones today. Nick Carl clocking off his 200th National League appearance. That's A-League and National Soccer League combined. And for the Wanderers, Michael Beecham has already mentioned 100 A-League appearances up tonight. Well, it's been building all week and finally it's here. Derby Day in Sydney, a very, very special occasion. Andy Harper played in a few in the old National Soccer League at wager. None that were quite a capturing the public's imagination like this one though, Andy. No, you're quite right, Tom, and although in their own right they were a lot of fun. But uh, 
This occasion, as magnificent as it is, Simon, is only going to get bigger and better. And after the massive success of the Melbourne Derby now established, Sydney is responding in kind. And you've got to think of the chairman of the sport in Australia, Frank Lowy, 1977, was instrumental in starting the National Soccer League. He and his colleagues at the time dreamt of scenes like this. And his second crack at professional football in Australia, the Hyundai A-League, and how good is it? Fantastic. Well, he's here tonight, the chairman, to uh, witness the big occasion. This is Thiago Calvano, restored to the uh, starting 11 today, in the absence of Petch Boic, with Seb Royal shifting to right fullback. And on the other flank, Andy, perhaps one of the key battles tonight, Mark Warren, the left fullback of Sydney FC, who had a bit of a torrid game in Brisbane last weekend up against Yusuf Hersey, he had a dangerous Yusuf Hersey. Yeah, well, Pollens and Hersey down the right-hand side for the Wanderers were straight back to their very best form last week. Hersey was so dangerous, but he is dangerous because of the support that Pollens gives him, and Mark Warren is really going to have to be on his game at left fullback for Sydney FC. There is Frank Lowy, chairman of the governing body, and uh, to his right, Scott Barlow, the chairman of Sydney FC. Paul Yak with a raking pass to give Yusuf Hersey his first look at Mark Warren. Running at pace, he drives it across the face of the penalty area. That's worth a go. What a beautiful ball wide from Paul Yak. I thought he was fantastic last week in the match against Wellington. But he found Hersey with a raking switch of play. And the option at the end of it from Hersey, I thought, was a good one. Very nervous defensively from Sydney, of whom much more is expected tonight, Simon. And reasonably so. They are such a different proposition at this stadium compared to when they travel. They were very poor last week, but don't expect them to be like that here at home. They'll be much stronger, Sydney FC. They are on a very good run at uh, Allianz Stadium. Eight matches unbeaten. Away form, of course, is a slightly different matter. And how do they cope without Del Piero tonight? Well, it's a hole created which is much bigger than they can fill. But equally, the opportunity presented to some other players now is a very good one. This is Nick Carl. Being uh, hassled and harassed by Polyak. That's what Brisbane did to good effect at Suncorp Stadium last week. Wanderers will have been watching. Lovely ball by Ono. Look at the weight on that pass. And uh, excellent cover provided by Petkovic, the Serbian. Well, that's twice. We're only three minutes old, and twice Mark Warren has been dealt with. Very clear intent from the Wanderers, at least early put the left back for Sydney under pressure. There is the left full back for Sydney, Mark Warren, clearing his lines. Chested down by Depuzzo. Into the channel for Bridge, but uh, Seb Ryle had the jump on him. Kianese bounces off top ball Stanley, and here comes Sydney FC. Get the free kick decision from Strebray Dolovsky. Richard Garcia flattened. Clear free kick, but Garcia wasn't assisted by Kianese's run off the ball then. Sydney FC would have been better served for play to continue, but Richie Garcia didn't have a passing outlet. The foul was a clear one. Just too narrow from Kianese. This is Nick Carl. Lauren on the overlap. Drills it low and hard. And he partly cleared. Wouldn't sit for Ali Abbas. That's good uh, hustling from Ryan Grant. Very important part of his game. Warren. Clever ball into the channel for Malia. And back for Carl. Good footballist by Sydney FC. Nodded down by Kianese. And uh, Wanderers get it away partially. Look at that for a quick release from Kovic. Switches the Wanderers immediately onto the attack. This is Hersey. Shinjiona outside him. Pollens pushing forward and right fullback. Oh no, might not need him. Lovely ball in by 
Shinjiano and Jan Jetovic with a good play. And a good defending from Thiago. Really tight on Tommy Juric and brave from Jan Jetovic. That's a decent switch as well. Probably asked just a little bit too much of Kiernese. He did well to bring it down. And if left fullback is a potential weak spot for Sydney, so too for the Wanderers. I thought the Puzo was strangely off his game last week. Normally he's such a consistent player. And he struggled to contain Jeremy Brocky in the first half last week. And Paul Eiffel did him like a dog's dinner to set up the goal for Jeremy Brocky in the second half. So the left fullback position for both clubs, perhaps a focal point. It's Trevor Dolovsky just going to restart with a drop ball because we had uh, two balls on the pitch for a moment or two. Sportingly given back to Sydney FC by the Wanderers. Not going to be too much charity on show tonight, you'd imagine. This is Hersey, quick feet to get around Ali Abbas, who's trying to stick to his task. Jerome Pollens on the right flank. Still with the German fullback. Now Poliak. You know, it's a little touch. Juric didn't read it. Nasser Broyle. to pick out Garcia, who was almost his only option there. Now Ali Abbas, and there's a two-on-one situation here on the left, but Sydney knock it inside instead, which is probably the wrong option. It's going to get the decision, though, for the foul on Malia. And now's when you miss, Alessandro Del Piero. This is right in his range. So who's to step up? To the uh, mass ranks of the travelling Wanderers fans. Well, there's a bit of a conference going on between those in Sky Blue. I think Ali Abbas has maybe won that debate. Nikola Pekovic has uh, a strong left foot as well. Might suit the Serbian under 21 international. All eyes on the little Iraqi. It's Ali Abbas. Well, he got it over the wall, but Kovic watched it all the way over the crossbar. They're never even close to being troubled, aren't they, Kovic? Really nice early sight of the ball for the Wanderers goalkeeper. There is the great man. Desperately wanted to play tonight. He even still got his kit on. Uh, discretion, the better part of valour, perhaps, for Sydney FC, particularly with a long trip to Perth coming next week. It is still very early on in the season. I don't want to risk aggravating that problem. Well, no, unless I'm mistaken, Simon, he had a little bit of hamstring trouble at the start of last season as well, had a couple of games off. And, well, didn't he inject himself into the A-League from that point on? And it wasn't a bad start either here at home against Newcastle, if you recall. You watched that goal he scored against Emil Heskey's Newcastle Jets. A little bit of an injury set in not soon after. But from that point on, he was fabulous. So for Sydney FC's sake, he'll be hoping for a repeat performance. Just got to hold the fort until he's back. Ryan Grant clattered into by De Puzzo. One or two in the stands, feeling that that should be the first yellow card of the derby. But uh, Strebre Dolovsky is not the type to automatically go to his top pocket. He was late. off by uh, Garcia and this is Warren he'll attempt to get to the byline throw in Sydney FC Jerome Pollens with the headband that's going to be uh, a goal kick a yeah, waste of opportunity there Ali Abbas not able to control the ball it's been a bright start from him otherwise Frank Farina will be way more impressed with the opening 10 minutes of energy was on display throughout the 90 last week against Brisbane. They didn't start badly last week. We shouldn't revise history. But once things started heading south for Sydney FC, they had no answer. And it was a disappointing evening for them. Big week on the training field to try and correct 
those problems. We've got another problem here. Ryan Grant catching Tommy Urich very late. People still arriving into the ground, incidentally. Such has been the demand for tickets. Huge traffic problems uh, outside Allianz Stadium. Those that are inside are about to watch Shinji Ono deliver this free kick. It's not a bad one towards the far post. It's Jacopo Larocca who's taking the credits. The ball may have taken a touch off a Sydney FDC defender, but it doesn't matter. The Wanderers are in front in the derby. Well, it's a goal scored by the force of will, if nothing else. It is a beautifully flighted free kick from Shinji Ono. It's a really difficult one for Sebrol to deal with. Jacopo LaRocca was just all over him and forced it home. Too much pressure on the Sydney FC defender. The free kick itself was too good. The contact at the end and the intent too muscular. And the Wanderers are in front. Well, all the talk in the build-up was about one Italian, Alessandro Del Piero. And it's another who has opened the scoring. The lesser known, Jacopo La Rocca. And as they did last season in this fixture here at Allianz, the Wanderers get the early advantage. Big test now for Sydney FC. They somewhat crumbled after Brisbane got the first goal last weekend. They've got to keep their focus as the Wanderers push forward again. And Pekovic clears. Just La Rocca's fourth goal in the competition. And interestingly, of course, La Rocca was the man who was sent off in the last Sydney derby for an elbow on Terry Antonis, for which he received a four-game ban served in pre-season, which has drawn the ire of uh, one or two coaches around the competition. There are some arguing he shouldn't be playing at the moment. Yeah, well, I agree with that. I don't know how you can serve a suspension in the off-season, but that's a rule, hopefully, that will get revised. Had the pass in the first place, so it seemed like a nonsense to me. Well, the touch paper has certainly been lit. The Wanderers fans and fine voice reverberating around the stadium at the moment. This is Hersing. Wonderful weight on that ball for the galloping Jerome Pollens who earns the Wanderers a corner. They need reinforcements on the left-hand side, Sydney FC. Mark Warren is being exposed. Western Sydney Wanderers, that is the game plan. The left side of midfield, Ali Abbas is finding it difficult to get back and help Warren. And Pollens and Hersey are the clear and present danger for Sydney FC. Odo's corner, the outswinger towards the back stick. in sky blue a little quiet at the moment here's their former player at least one off the mark bridge I thought that was a quarter goal kick is the verdict smart bridge who's uh, shaved the beard off as has uh, Nikolai Topol Stanley under instructions from the coach well, I've got to be frank Simon I'm surprised it lasted as long as it did given the way Tony Popovich runs the show out there Not enough was enough was the edict ultimately from the boss. Well, it was a bet between the two of them as to who could uh, grow the longer beards. I think they shaved it off together, so interesting to see where the money's gone. This is Juric. Oh, and he's onside as he knows he's not. Won't count, flags up against Hersey as he wheels away in celebration. Sarah Ho put the flag up as soon as Hersey made his run. Well, she got that one right, first viewing. There he is, just straying. There's a close one. Close enough, good enough by Sarah Ho. Well down the line. Can I 
opportunity. Charlotte Ball run across him before he was rather agriculturally felled by De Puzzo. Quickly taken. Good sliding challenge by Hersey at the expense of a corner. Uh, word on the run from Stradlowski to Adam De Puzzo. I'm keeping count, Adam, is the word. That's two. I've let go. You won't be so lucky the next time. Bass with the corner towards the near post. Here's the chance, oh, and it's drilled in with uh, real pace. And Kovic was down, but wasn't forced into making the save. Take Kovic yet to keep a clean sheet this season from the two draws. Something the Wanderers prided themselves on last season. Of course, they won the Premiership. Bit of an arm wrestle between uh, Kianese and De Puzzo. Goal kick Wanderers. Good strike by Mitch Marlia. It's uh, a touch off top of Stanley, took some of the weight out of it. He doesn't know where the goal is, Mitch Marlia. He's been given a real opportunity here. The Injury situation at the club opens the door for him. He was lively off the bench last week in Brisbane. Five goals in three seasons for Mitch Marliott. Oh, only uh, Joel Kiernese has scored more. Good strength shown by Pollens, and then he almost uh, miscontrolled it and handed it back to Sydney FC. We now get the verdict from Stradlowski, and there's a bit of afters between Beecham and uh, one or two of the Sydney FC players. Ali Abbas getting involved, he's got a short fuse. Well, Richie Garcia has caught one there, I'm not sure if his shin hasn't been opened up a little bit. The Sydney FC players have reacted very strongly. Uh, just accusing Beecham of uh, a bit of a naughty nibble there. Well, it, was it, it was Pollens. Yeah, it wasn't Beecham at all. It was Jerome Pollens. And Richie Garcia as well. What's happened here, sir? How's that legal? Well, it's being exchanged. Nicky Carl, of course, wearing the captain's armband uh, tonight for Sydney FC. That's why he's involved in the discussion as well with uh, Del Piero on the sidelines. for City FC to attack the Wanderers' goal. 20 forward for the set-piece. Ali Abbas to deliver. Oh, it's a poor free-kick from the Iraqi Com Australia. Warren with time. Oh, it's a really bad ball. And that's put Sydney on the back foot. Well, Tommy Juric won't quite have the pace to make them pay cash, but that's just careless. Well, it's on those moments that the game swings. Shinji Ono delivers a peach from a free kick, and the Wanderers score. Ali Abbas can't beat the first man, and then Mark Warren gives the possession away, and the Wanderers could have really doubled Sydney's pain, Sydney FC's pain. Not that they're feeling much strain at the moment. The Wanderers fans having a great night. FC, hoping to quieten them down in the next moment or two. Abbas with the corner kick, whipped him with pace again towards the near post. Bridge getting it away towards the halfway line. Almost 20 minutes played at Allianz Stadium. Jacopo Larocca with the only goal so far. It's been a really good, lively start to this fourth Sydney derby. This is Topol Stanley. And a season in sky blue back in 06 07. Lurich unable to wrap his boot around the ball to get it towards Bridge. Carl. Barged into by Topol Stanley.
Good touch by Garcia. Gets it back off Chianese. He's onside. It's not too many to aim for in the middle. It's uh, beyond Mitch Marley has made good ground to earn the throw in back for the Sky Blues. Good effort from Mitch Marley. It's too much on the cross from Garcia. He's been very busy early. Good leadership from the Socceroo. And his team needs at the moment. Experienced players to lead the charge. And the difference in the teams at the moment, apart from a couple of errant passes, Simon. Sydney FC finding it difficult to cover the ground as well as the Wanderers. It's a real athletic difference between the two teams at the moment. Well, we do know that uh, Sydney FC's, or rather the Wanderers, pre-season training, according to the players, lifted in intensity, and these are their own words, up to 15, 20 per cent. Stanley shepherding it back to Kovic. They are desperate handed to avoid the so-called second season syndrome, which has affected a, a few late A-League clubs down the years. They were forewarned is forearmed. And, and Tony Tomovic, they've got exactly the right man to deal with that potential malaise. There's no way he'll allow people to switch off for a second. Right on the job here, 20 minutes in. It's been a good, tight tussle. Just one moment separating the teams. Awkward bounce for Juric. Very nearly uh, releasing Hersey. Right, Grant. There's no option wide right. Good decision. They go left instead. And this is Ali Abbas. Warren pushing forward for left back. Can he find the right delivery? No is the answer. And the pressure's off. And Sydney have had good territory. And they've set up an attack quite nicely on more than one occasion. And unfortunately for Frank Farina, the last pass, the cross, has been errant and the pressure valve is released. Holding. It's going to be a good tussle that one. Thiago and Juric. Here is the latter. He was uh, fought initially by Grant and then subsequently by Carl. Strebre Delowski happy to let the first one go, not the second. He's having to work hard the ref. That's a good sign. That means there's plenty of intensity, plenty of speed in the game. Two pretty good ingredients for those gathered at the stadium or watching in the pubs or in their lounge rooms on Fox Sports. Well, is this going to be a uh, Shinji Ono sort of range? Percy jogs over it. Well, this is a training ground move, and Bridges escaped his markers. He's got time to measure the cross. Unfortunately for Longus, he can't pick out any of those red and white he jerseys. Had three. He had three there unmarked in the box. The Sydney came undone in Brisbane last week because of defending from set pieces. They've already fallen on that sword once this evening and nearly for a second time. Look at the queue of three of them at the back stick. The ball only needs to be less than half a metre lower and the Wanderers are two up. This is Garcia. Percy doing sterling defensive duty. He and Collins do have an excellent combination down that right flank. Pressure relief for Western Sydney. Who do have a quite remarkable record on the road, the Wanderers. Just two defeats away last season. One of those was in Wellington, so their only away defeat in Australia was to Adelaide United exactly 12 months ago. you count the grand final, of course, at this venue. Oh, no. 
time to flick it on for Juric, Horn, Warren's missed it. This is Yusuf Hersey, Wanderers attacking again. And Warren does well to block the effort from Yusuf Hersey. Back come the Wanderers. Might break here for Shinji Ono. Well, you can see what he was trying to do, he still might. Oh no! 2 0 Western Sydney! Shinji Ono! The little genius! He just would not give it up! And the Wanderers have a two goal cushion. And is that enough? Even after only 26 minutes. Well, this is right out of the Alessandro Del Piero playbook. He backed himself. He asked the questioner of the defenders who had no answer. He improvised in Tensai and then he turned and threw his right boot and passed the outstretched left arm of Jan Janjanovic into the goal for the Western Sydney Wanderers. Amazing start by the visitors. Oh, it's a long way back now for Sydney FC. It's a dream start for the visitors. Helped, it must be said again, Andy. Some pretty ordinary defending by the Sky Blues. Yeah, it was shoddy. Frank Farina will be spitting chips. The difficult part of the game, building attack, keeping possession. The Sky Blues have been serviceable. Through the legs of Bridge. Kiernese. No way through for Sydney FC. Bridge scrapping for it. This is Ryan. Shinjiona. Going back to get a piece of it. And then the outside of the boots. Lovely stuff. Juric is clattered by Pekovic. Uh, Pekovic says better to stop the game there than us turn and chase. They're a long way from home already, Sydney FC. They've got to do something mighty. And it's so frustrating for a coach where the utilitarian aspects of the game, Simon, is where they're deficient at the moment. Let's get your body in between the defender and the ball and make sure it doesn't get past you. And twice that ball and foul. And confident defending. Leakiest defence in the A-League last season, Sydney FC, 51 goals conceded. They're already the worst in that regard again this uh, campaign. Shipping four in Brisbane last week, two already here. This is Ono, looking to inflict further damage. And a break here for the Western Sydney Wanderers. Bridge happy to take the throw in. They're just standing like statues, Sydney FC, at times. Well, they need a spark, and you know, there's a three or four or five players trying to carry the can for everyone. That's a good header by Garcia, but it's too far in advance of Carl. He's uh, playing in that uh, number 10 role this evening. Playing out with confidence, the Wanderers, and he's helped, obviously, by the two-goal buffer, but the players in space. Time to receive, turn and face the attack, keep the ball moving quickly, keep Sydney... Readjusting Sydney FC defensively, they're running right through them. Here they go again, it's a race between goalkeeper and striker. And Jankiewicz wins it ahead of Tommy Juric. Sydney FC, hearts in mouths. The cove away to our left, can't quite believe what they're seeing at the moment. It was not supposed to be like this for the Sky Blues. That's the yellow card finally for them to put. I actually think that was the softest of the three fouls, but... The two he'd given up previously had put him on notice. And I think Joel Kiernese has gotten out of this lightly because the last couple of times Sydney had looked to feed him, he's given up position without much of a fight. Now that's a foul of itself, not a yellow card, but three in a row is too much, even for Joe uh, Streptolovsky, who has the patience of Joe as a referee. That's what Sydney FC need at the moment. <laughs> Some sort of a superhero, you'd imagine. Sadly, 
their very own superhero. He's on the bench, he's injured. Penny for his thoughts at the moment, Del Piero. Malia, trying link up with Warren. Away by Poljak. Oh, right now. Got the wrong side of Pekovic. Tommy Juric did just for a fraction of a second. It's a good battle, that one. Pekovic for Juric. been a frantic first half an hour in this fourth Sydney derby. Everything going a wondrous way. Sydney FC's long unbeaten home run had to come to a close. The good news for the Sky Blues is they've leaked those two girls goals early so there's still plenty of time. Got a set piece here for the uh, Frenchman by Poliak on Garcia. More words in the shell like. He just pulls his Kofi Annan impersonation out of the back pocket. And he gets away with a rather crude challenge. Not dangerous, but clearly illegal and the full intent of stopping Sydney FC's attack. goes for goal, oh, off the woodwork, goodness me, he gave that a fearful thump, Nikola Pekovic. I think the crossbar is still rattling, Andy. It was brilliant action, he should have taken the first free kick that Ali Abbas hit over the crossbar, because that was a rip from Pekovic. Well, I don't think there's any doubt as to who should take them from now on. His boot straight through that one. This is uh, Shinji Ono. Never hurried on the ball. Is you, he? But you see there how Simon Shinji Ono received the ball deep. There is no way a Wanderers player lets their opponent get to the ball first in that situation. Brilliantly, he did Shinji Ono. They worked the ball out from defence to attack. Here's that free kick. Have a piece of that. Kovic beat no, He actually gave it up. He thought it was going over. Great judgment from Ante Kovic there. One he would have been proud of. Well, it gave Sydney FC some encouragement. Is Carl. Malia. Finding a bit of space between the lines, and now Warren on the overlap. Good opportunity this for Sydney, and again it's a disappointing cross for the Sky Blues. And he's got into some good positions, and both sides, Simon. They've uh, done the difficult things well. It's the less difficult things that they've floundered on Sydney FC. So encouragement for Frank Farina. That's poor, and they're under pressure again now. They just cannot sustain themselves. All the pressure on the Wanderers. So it's uh, Ali Abbas inside the centre circle. That's it back off Warren. Now the switch. Garcia. On the corner for Sydney FC. Is their third of the contest. Half time approaching. Sydney FC desperate to get on the score sheet, and defender and goalkeeper just getting in each other's way there, but it's worked out okay for the Wanderers. And this is Ono again, the outside of the boot. He's just such a lovely footballer, Stringy Ono. All class, all class. The weight in the direction of the pass. Scooped it out almost with the outside of his right foot. What a player. What an acquisition for the Hyundai A-League and the Western Sydney Wanderers. And 
Jose and Garcia on the same wavelength. This is La Roca. Now Pollens. Played by Petkovic. Will it be a corner? As, uh, Warren can prevent that. He has done. Well done, sir. So a pretty torrid opening 35 minutes, Mark Warren. Poliak. Good balance by the crowd. Mercy up against Warren. The right grounds down. This is trouble. He hasn't moved near the centre circle for Sydney FC. Has not moved since he tried to dispossess. That's knee trouble for Ryan Grant. He doesn't stay down unless he's. Oof. Ouch. Whoa. He hasn't been up since. Tolak did very well. Credit to the Wanderers midfielder. He turned away from intense pressure. Well, that knee just seemed to no, buckle underneath him, Andy. It's a horrible sight. It does give Frank Farina the chance to get some instructions to his troops. Well, Ryan Grant is a player they can scarce afford to lose. Hersey's in trouble as well. And Yusuf Hersey's got a problem too, seemingly with uh, the right ankle or the right foot. Well, chance for us to have a breather, Andy, and uh, after this frenetic opening, we've needed it, really. It's been a brilliant opening, a really tight contest. Sydney FC, too many errors, and they're in trouble because of it. Not a Brisbane Raw shirt in the stands, there. It's an ecumenical crowd here in <laughs> Sydney, it is. I saw a Mariners fan here earlier as well. But geez, you're 40 minutes the wrong side of the freeway. What are you doing here? I've got to come to the Derby, he said. Fair enough too. As long as they're going to see the football landing. Well, there's the good news that uh, Ryan Grant is back on his feet. He'll uh, jog off to the touchline and have some more treatment with uh, physio Stanley Vancic. Ditto Hersey. Both, uh, well, I was going to say, both look as though they're going to be okay to resume, but I'm not sure Ryan Grant is. Percy's OK, he's back on. That's a massive blow. They just signal that uh, they're going to have to make a change, Sydney FC. Matt Thompson, you'd think, would be the obvious choice. So the sky blows down to 10 for the moment. And this is Nick Carl. Wasteful from uh, Carl. Oh. Just trying to slide it in behind the fullback again. It's been uh, a tactic they were working on in training this week. Ian Aze trying to turn his way out of trouble, but he's muscled by La Rocca. Just free kick Wanderers. Just got to be stronger on the ball. And now the descent to compound problems. that uh, Matt Thompson is Ryan Grant's replacement. Plenty of experience, the uh, only A-League player to top over 200 games in the competition. Club on a uh, short-term injury replacement deal for Peter Triantis, and that injury list, again, starting to lengthen, Andy. It's a real problem for the Sky Blues. It's a very long one, very, very long one. The way this game was unfolding, Ryan Grant was one of the last you could afford to lose. He was trouble again. Offside. You're given the athletic disparity between the teams. Ryan Grant is, is one who can hold his own. Nicky Carl, Ali Abbas, experienced quality players. But not as efficient at covering the ground, certainly as Ryan Grant, who blossomed so much when Frank Frenner arrived last season. He had an injury interrupted pre-season himself and now he's got some knee trouble. So Sydney FC's player of the season last year will play no further part in this derby. Well, 
very important half-time team talk coming up for Frank Farina, Andy. Well, they've got a foundation. It's going to sound silly to say, Simon. They've got a foundation because in the front half of the field, they've been pretty strong. The last pass has let them down badly. They're chasing the game because they're very sloppy defending. So... Mercy's struggling again. A real point will be made of that by Frank Farina, but they've got a foundation. They were dead and buried this time last week. It was almost impossible to see them coming back at half-time against Brisbane, and of course, history records they couldn't do that. But they've been a stronger proposition on the ball here at Allianz this evening. And they've got to plug up the defence, most certainly. Perhaps, of course, that's one of the reasons they... Uh released Pascal Boscart this week in the uh, remainder of his contract to free up a spot in defence and of course a visa player as well. Frank Farina maybe uh, want to bring somebody in. Stiffen up that uh, area of the park. They need goals at the moment, the Sky Blues, and Carl can't find a way through. Percy is uh, staying on for the moment for the Wanderers. He'll be trying to get through to half-time so he can get some uh, treatment on that injury he's carrying too. It is such a feature of Tony Popovich's team. And they defend in a compact formation. And once that intercept has been made or the tuck has been won, they just light the fuse. They spring forward. The ball gets delivered quickly. There are players in support. Taking no chances. Now would be a very opportune time for Sydney FC to score and try and build some confidence ahead of uh, half time whistle. Thompson squares it up. Mitch Malia to drive it too high. That's two shots, at least towards the goal. The first one deflected away, the second not on target, but a dangerous effort. More required from Malia, however. Let's go down to Michael Zappone and get some news from the touchline. Zappa. Thanks, Simon. Uh, it's news on uh, Ryan Grant. I had a chat to the uh, team doctor as he was coming off, and he said that uh, Ryan felt the knee, knee click as he went down in that challenge. They're hopeful it's not uh, serious or an ACL because he was walking freely the ground so uh, hopefully some good news there for him fingers crossed thanks very much Zappa meantime another opportunity perhaps for the Wanderers they've thrown plenty forward for this set piece to be delivered by Shinji Odo that's the goalkeepers Least perhaps too quick for Petkovic. Sydney FC again struggling to retain possession of the ball. This is Bridge. Poliak, Percy. Pollens pushing forward again from right fullback. A feature of this uh, first half performance by the Wanderers. It's still Poliak. Knocked away by Thompson. Just had no answer to that uh, combination down the right flank. Yeah, they look very vulnerable in transition defensively to Sydney FC, particularly when the Wanderers go down their right-hand side. It is such a strong point of their game. Very impressive first half by the Western Sydney Wanderers. Robotically up in the air by Hersey. Way to safety by Petkovic. And Sydney FC's best opportunity. Two minutes of stoppage time to be added on. Yes, he's back on his haunches again. So it's the rocker. That'll be a corner. He's been in the wars in the first half, Yusuf Hersey. 
wonder if we'll uh, see him reappear in the second half. Well, third goal here, and you fancy that will be game over. Ono's corner. Oh, that was uh, a clever shot on the turn by Juric. Into the side netting. Well, again, there's no way he should have got that anywhere near the goal. Hedebridge did have it covered. It was Mark Warren defending Urich. Good strength by Garcia. Foul of the game. A couple of yellow cards issued. Straight pass from Ali Abbas. It's just been a bit disjointed at times from the Sky Blues. Well, the challenge for them is to believe they can get out of this because you know, there's been enough in the first half for them to take encouragement. It's going to be a long season for Sydney FC if they can't address the basis, the basic defensive issues. This is Thompson. Well, there we go. Half time in the fourth Sydney derby. The Wanderers leading comfortably by two goals to nil. Jacopo Rocca getting them on their way in the 12th minutes with a header. Shinji Ono with a delightful second in the 26th minute. Sydney all at sea defensively again, their best opportunity coming from a thunderous drive from defender Nikola Pekovic, but plenty of work to do in the sheds at half-time for the Sky Blues. At the break, it's Sydney FC nil, the Western Sydney Wanderers too. An outstanding first 45 minutes for the away side and the away fans. We'll be back after the break with Rudes and Bozza to analyse that first half. Also in the half-time break, we'll hear from Alessandro Del Piero. Back in a moment. Half Time brought to you by the Flame Grilled Whopper. The burgers are better at Hungry Jack's. Outlaw Whopper with flame grilled beef, crispy bacon, cheese, and smoky barbecue sauce. The Outlaw menu will leave you with a taste for the wild side. The burgers are better at Hungry Jacks. What can you get for just one dollar more at Harvey Norman Home Appliances? This weekend only. Buy a fridge 400 litres or above, and for just one dollar more, get this bar fridge. Buy any coffee machine over $500, and for just one dollar more, get this great juicer. Buy a dishwasher, and for just one dollar more, get this 20 litre LG microwave oven. Many more deals in store. Get your dollar ready and don't miss out. End Sunday at Harvey Norman Home Appliances. At the Australian Defence Force Academy, we realise the classroom should be bigger than just the auditorium. So one minute, your head will be in the books, and the next, the water. Because life's about more than just climbing the corporate ladder. Problems to see if they can rectify them. Uh, Matt German is on the bench, Yarrow Yao's on the bench, and Chris Narmoff as well, who they rate highly, but mm. he's a striker, so you got. Well, Sydney is red and black at the moment, those in sky blue. 
hoping for what seems at the moment a rather unlikely comeback as uh, Sydney FC retake the field. And we're going to head down pitch side with Michael Zappone, who's with a special guest, Zappa. Alessandro, well, how's the injury? When we decide that uh, you weren't playing today? Uh, today we push until the, the last second, but there's no chance for today, unfortunately. Must be very hard to watch. What was the message at half time? Yeah, <laughs> hard from outside is terrible. No, no. And uh, now we, we are in confidence. We, we, we play a good, good first half. Uh, we, th we think now with the second half, we'll uh, do something more better. What was the message from Frank? What did he say? There was a few defensive mistakes. Was that one of the things he was focusing on in his message at half time? Yeah, but for that we have to spend time during the week. Now we have to look at what we can do better really soon. For sure the set pieces for us at that moment, not only today, it's uh, a weakness. But we are just in a week, that, this one. Now we have to think how we can score a goal and how we can do a better game. Are you confident you can get something out of the game? I think we have a chance. We we hit the post. We have many chances uh, across the goal area. We keep the ball for uh, a long time. Uh, we up now. We we are moving for for score one, and then we see what happens. Thanks for your time. You're welcome. See you. Half time substitution as well, uh, Simon. As we head back up to you for Sydney FC, Mitchell Malia will come off for Yarrow Yow. Thanks very much indeed, Zappa. There is uh, the Panamanian back from his uh, World Cup disappointments. Panama losing out to the USA. Three goals to two, missing out on the spot in Brazil. And uh, also, let's bring you up to date with a change for the Wanderers too. Brendan Santelab is on in place of Yusuf Hersey, who was uh, struggling somewhat with an injury towards the end of that first half. So back underway, the Wanderers leading by two goals to nil. And Sydney FC, Andy Harper, with a lot of work to do and need to put a lot more pressure on Ante Kovic. They've now had, if you include the game in Brisbane last weekend, just one shot on target in 135 minutes of football. Yeah, and the first half was better than that statistic shows for Sydney FC. Let's break off because Garcia is racing away down the left. Oh, it was a good cross too. And Yao was sliding in, good hands by Kovic. Immediately that was better, but look how quickly the Wanderers break already. And amazing. Look at the room here for Bridge. Where are the Sydney FC defenders? His centre lap. Well, he snatched at it. It has been brilliant from the Wanderers. This counter attacking is just brilliant. And in truth, they might have conceded a goal at the other end because this was pretty tidy as well. And finally, as Alessandro Del Piero just suggested a better ball through the penalty area to give your team more of a chance. Santalab off balance was a good opening forced by that wonderful counter-attack. Yara Yao wasn't far away from that one, Simon. That could easily have been a goal for Sydney FC. Well, good portents for the neutral. Watching on. Chance at either end. It's uh, pretty open the first half too. That's one of the goal scorers, Jacopo La Rocca. Santalab. Santalab, of course, is uh, not a former Sydney FC player. Just confirming that other change for Sydney FC. Mitch Malia replaced by uh, Yaro Yao. Santalab, who had uh, four years in China playing with Chengdu and then Matali Chongqing. Good goal scoring record as well 33 goals in. 75 appearances as uh, Ono swings it into the penalty area for the Wanderers. Broken up by Thompson. Intercepted by La Roca. Now Ono. Collins with a chance to push forward. Santalep on target. Easily gathered by Janjetovic. Busy start by Brendan Santalep playing against his former club, Sydney FC. A real chance for him off the bench. side for Thompson, says Yaro Yao, has a uh, pace to burn if he gets the chance to use it, Carl finding some space between the lines, Kianetic, 
again. They just haven't been able to find the final ball, Sydney FC. Well, that's poor because Richie Garcia at the start of the first uh, second half hit a good cross in. Karina's men built pressure and the pressure's released. That was the story of the first half. Not maximising the good moments they had and being sloppy defensively from set pieces, etc. That's why there's the gulf between the teams that there is. Talking of pressure, Andy, very early days in the season, but Sydney FC were to lose this, would that just start to build a little bit on Frank Farina? <laughs> You're looking crestfallen even at the question. Well, it's Sydney FC, of course. Yeah. I mean, it's days of our lives, week after week, isn't it, really? But that's what you get with a big club and big expectations. And Farina's a very, very thick skin. A very strong individual. Good feet by Ryle. It's a lovely switch initially by Petkovic. And listen, Nick, it was uh, Nicky Carl to unleash. Now we're going to trouble Kovic. That's made the space nice. They just needed to relax a little bit. When the moment came to shoot, it was an effort that was snatched at rather by Nicky Carl. But I think Farina's a good man for where Sydney FC are at at the moment. They're certainly in a bit of bottom, there's no question. And it's going to be enormous pressure building on the club, even at these early stages of the season, if they can't turn this around. Holding by Thiago on uh, Tommy Juric. Wanderers uh, attacking the end, where the majority of their fans are stationed behind Veteran Janjetovic's goal. Shinjiano to place it. Towards the back stick. Goal kick. That's uh, Brendan Santelak. 23 appearances and four goals. Two year stints with the Sky Blues. And applying his trade across town. Throw in by Garcia. Led by Topol Stanley, Carl takes over, looking to attack Beecham, and forces the corner. Very well defended by Michael Beecham, Nicky Carl had a full head of steam, and he decided to take the Wanderer skipper onto the byline, a good option. Short corner by Sydney, and now has to drive it. Back and again off the head, a little bit aimless from Sydney FC, this is Ryle. Only been told to push forward uh, a little bit more from right fullback in the second half. Is that his best position, Andy? We're not quite sure. He likes to play central, centrally, but uh, he's done a good job at right fullback well, down I'm, the years. Yeah, he has, but uh, I think he's better suited to a central defensive position. But given the injury to Pedro Bowich, etc., he falls back out the right fullback where he can do a job. Unfortunately, he has got fingerprints over both goals conceded by Sydney FC. Out muscled by Yokoto Larocca in the first instance and outsmarted by Shinjiano in the second. Talking of which, Carl has wriggled clear of Larocca. It's a really poor ball back to him though by Garcia. Frustration amongst the Sky Blue hordes. This is Mark Bridge. Sydney FC, a high defensive line. Uh, Bridge just misread that from uh, Shinjiono. He's arguably uh, been the standout player on uh, either side here this evening. See a bit unorthodox, but it uh, did the job. Side flags up. Oh, 
the square for Polyak. Lovely ball in behind the central defender Thiago, just beyond Juric. Right idea for the Wanderers. Garcia, who's playing on the left flank and he's been caught rather crudely by Jerome Pollens. And he's going to go into Strebray Dolovsky's notebook as well. And again, the indication from Strebray Dolovsky is that it's uh, almost like a cumulative foul situation. It was Pollens who got Richie Garcia in the first half with that high boot and has gone straight through the back of him. On this occasion, it's a standalone yellow card, that one. Second yellow of the season. Just the third game for the German. And the Wanderers know where the trouble is. Richie Garcia has been Sydney's best, in my opinion, so far this evening. The most industrious. And he just needs a little bit more support. There is Garcia. Pekovic. Held up by Santalab. Carl. Go the clutches of Ono. And that's with Juric. He's challenged by Carl. It's back with Garcia. That's a very clever manoeuvre to get around the outside of Polens. Can he find the right delivery? In towards Yao. Off the shins of Beecham. Hooked away by Bridge. Ono with a high foot. Free kick Sydney FC. Yes, you, sir. Yeah, I still don't think he should have been allowed to have one possession of that ball even though it was deemed illegal and the ref I'm not quitting with the decision but and that's where you don't get out of a skirmish against the Western Sydney Wanderers without losing some skin and hair in those instances and Shinji Ono should be getting the same sort of treatment more encouraging signs though for the Sky Blues attacking the cove end of the ground here at Allianz still trailing by those two first half goals Wanderers content to sit deep and try and Spring attacks on the counter. Kianese. Squirts it back for Ryle, who crosses with the outside of the boot. Away by Beecham. Bounce evades Juric. Now it's with Warren. Throw in Sydney. Pressure building. Yeah, good sustained pressure from Sydney FC. Ali Abbas. Through the gap for Yaro Yao. Free kick Sydney. Challenge by La Rocca. Good position too for the Sky Blues. Frank Farina's half-time message started to take effect perhaps. Still a long way back up off the canvas though for the Sky Blues. Well, I think this is going to be Pekovic after what we saw in the first half, and why not? As it should be. Ante Kovic in the Wanderers goal. Full up, full warned. It's Pekovic. Well, not quite the power as he uh, had in the first half. Went for placement. Only found the coach. The Rocker just chipping away at uh, Yao. situation Andy though that suits the Wanderers absolutely to a tee they've never lost a game in the A-League where they've led at half time well the state of the game is going to force Sydney FC more and more onto the Wanderers which is exactly how they love it Sydney FC's long and beaten home run which stretches back to last December Seriously under threats. That loss incidentally was against the Wanderers. Also by two goals to nil. This is oh no. Score of the second goal into the feet of Bridge. Rocker was square. Santa wide. And he managed to find Warren. Now Ali Abbas trying to spring the offside trap for Yaro Yap. Clever ball by Collins. 
Santala gets the wrong side of Warren, who made a really good recovery. He needed to, and it was a good recovery. The two was needed because he was the wrong side again. Santala was away, but Mark Warren did brilliantly to make up that ground. They just gobble them up and relaunch the Wanderers. Tony Popovich, happy with uh, the way things are going. Why wouldn't he be after two draws to start the season? A win here to be the catalyst again for a successful season. They're looking for a third goal here. Bridge to tee it up. And he was offside in the act of playing it back towards Shinji Ono. Also Trangolo with the flag. Ball in from Collins. How tight was it? No, it's clearly yeah, offside. Just offside. Good call. So he's the first to react. Having touch took it to Thompson. This is Joel Kiedese. It is brilliant, brilliant transition from the Wanderers. From defence to attack. And then attack into defence. Sydney FC just cannot get clear of them. And you've got a player like Yara Yao playing a centre forward Simon. And there is plenty of space behind Beecham and Topol Stanley. But Sydney can't settle on the ball to get it over the top of those central defenders for the Wanderers so he can use his pace. Thiago <laughs> being pressed by Ono. Chested down by Depuzzo. Now Bridge. Juric. Danger here for Sydney FC and Juric trying to slalom his way through Nikola Pekovic. The high press being applied, oh that's risky from Thiago and Juric sliding in. And he was late on Janjetovic, he might be in trouble here Tommy Juric. Gets a yellow card. And he's not best pleased with that decision from Strebre Dolovsky. He had to go for that one Andy. And in the process maybe showed his studs yeah, I didn't a little bit too much. I didn't see a heap in it. Free kick. Yeah. It's a free kick. I mean, it's not reckless. He's entitled to go for it. The studs are showing, I guess. And a free kick would have sufficed. And dangerous times for Sydney FC. Again, the transition, the pressure from the Wanderers. Thiago hit one back. It was 50-50 or 55-45 in favour of his goalkeeper. Tommy Urich put the pressure on. And they just turn the screws, the Wanderers. Sydney FC, after a bright start to the second half, just cannot get any space in which to play. And they've got to believe it just takes one ball over the top for Yara Yao and the game can change. But it's finding the space for that pass, which is proving elusive at the moment for Sydney FC. So, Andy, you just got a little glance of Yusuf Hersey there, set on uh, the benches with Tony Popovich. He uh, apparently got a foot on his, uh, I think it was his right foot, trodden on in the first half and he was unable to put pressure on it, that's why he's been replaced. Kiernese, getting the wrong side of his man. It's going to be a free kick for Sydney FC and a yellow card to Mark Briggs, they're starting to tally up. A uh, better play from Joel Kiernese, he's been better in the second half than he was in the first and this is why, because he secured possession and then he turned his defender and that's better technique, better intent to protect the ball. It's a clear foul, firstly from Bridge, but surely play advantage, that's a great crossing situation. And go back and give Bridge a yellow card afterwards. 
if necessary. Good chance here for Sydney FC to get themselves back in the game. Comes back to Matt Thompson. Is that the right option? Pass to deliver now. Flashes across the face, partly away by Beecham. This is Nick Carl. It'll be a throw in for the Sky Blues. Important moments in the contest, these, you'd fancy. Wanderers trying to hold their ground. Sydney FC desperate to get a toehold. Warren's throw. Splitted away off the boot of Poliak, and look at this. Tommy Urich racing one on one with Nikola Petkovic. Petkovic was big and strong for Sydney FC, and he had to be. More evidence of just how this counter-attacking game really suits the Wanderers. This is Thompson with a switch of play for Garcia. Ali Abbas. Drifting in field through the legs of the defender. And he throws himself rather theatrically to the ground. <laughs> a good half second after the challenge. How much he argues about it. Yeah. He went down in instalments. <laughs> oh, it's all part of the theatre. This one is bubbling along nicely. Very nicely indeed. Great contest. Sydney, again, the ball just keeps coming back at them. They've got to turn the Wanderers around. They haven't managed to do it. They've moved them side to side, Simon but they haven't exactly turned them around. That would be my instruction. With them facing the game, they'll just keep winning the ball and knocking it back into your half. You've got to turn them around. And particularly when you've got someone with Yara Yao's pace up front. As yet, a little underutilised. 25 minutes to go. And stayed in play. Beecham cobbling up the ground. There is uh, Yusuf Hersey. Putting a rather forlorn figure on the numerous benches. Played his part in the first half. This is Juric. Shinjiano doesn't need to sort of sprinting when he's 34, 35. Well, he's covered the ground beautifully tonight. He's got to loose balls. And he thought he wouldn't, including his direct opponent, and they've been left with egg on their face as a result. With a diagonal ball in behind the fullback, and speed to Garcia. There's been a bit more positivity about Sydney FC in the second half. But you'd have expected that, really. Yeah, definitely. And that, look, their first half wasn't disastrous. The defending on a couple of occasions was, hence the scoreline. it out towards Poland, so he'll deliver a really good cross in. Should be Janjetovic is on the follow-up. Early release too for Kian Azek. Gap quickly is closed down. That's too cheap. Way too cheap. It's a good release from Janjetovic. That is the stark difference between the teams in general terms. Kovic would release a Wanderer in similar fashion. The Wanderers get more change out of it because they don't turn the ball over so easily. 
including Santelay. Warren trying to get back goal sides and he's committed the infringement. It's going to be another yellow card. Not had a particularly happy start to life in the Hyundai League, has he, Mark Warren? It's tough going. Got to the ball first on that instance. In the replay, but the tackle was from the side and behind. Lucky to escape a red against Brisbane last weekend. His uh, derbies last year for Edrionians were against Hamilton. This is a uh, slightly bigger occasion. Sydney FC facing more pressure here. Shinjiano with the set piece. Towards the back stick. Rocket to retrieve. For Polyak. Chested down by Thiago. And Yarrow, yeah. Would be a freak in Sydney FC. Thiago Calvano unceremoniously dumped to the floor by Santalab. Well, he's got a job on his head. <laughs> Strip the Loski, hasn't he? This is a really physical game. But the Wanderers are blowed if they're going to let their opponents out of their half. And those side pockets, 5, 10 metres either side of halfway and in the 10, 15 metre corridor and the width of the field, they just snuff teams out. Very physical. Hungry. Goodness me, are they hungry. Yellow card for Santelo for that uh, challenge on Thiago. And again, further evidence. And just not allowing Sydney FC the room to turn and try and get it behind. The home fans trying to lift their side. And they've been stung into silence for large swathes of this contest. And now Strebdolovsky has uh, called together the two captains, maybe. Let's try and tell them to settle things down a bit. Wouldn't be a derby without a bit of uh, blood and thunder, would it, Hart? Sure, you kicked a few in your time in those Sydney derbies. Me, Simon, I was pure as the driven snow. That's been great stuff. A really good contest. Really, really good contest. Space and the run of Yao. Again, there is no way through. Carl. Much by Polya. Now Royal does have a bit of room to turn. Kianese. Three in the middle if you can find the right cross. It's a deep one for Garcia. Only partly away and Warren to drive it. Took a touch, corner for Sydney. Good delivery into the penalty area for Sydney FC, and all of a sudden their opportunities take on a different cue. Short corner, taken quickly. Yaro Yao with the delivery, and uh, it's Kianese who had a bit of an air swing at it. Sydney desperately trying to keep the pressure on. This is Seb Royal looking to drive it from long range. It's Smothered though by Polyak, and away come the Wanderers on the counter through Mark Bridge. It's going to be another card. This time, Ali Abbas. Ali Abbas is calling Mark Bridge to the witness box. Ask him, Your Honour. Guilty as charged, says Dreb Dolosky. The eighth yellow card of the contest. Three for Sydney, five for the Wanderers. Uh, Allianz Stadium, just a wonderful sight this evening, and wonderful sounds as well, and mainly coming from those in red and black at the moment. They perhaps feel the job is almost done. Surely will be if they get a third goal. 
Ono with the free kick. Easy for Janjetovic. Carl trying to let the ball run onto him, but again, the Wanderers just too quick. Santala. Corner Wanderers. Well, look at that as a template for the Wanderers. Sydney FC tried to break quickly. The ball spun out to the near touchline. The Wanderers pinch it, as they've done so many times tonight, and work the ball up for another corner. More pressure on Sydney FC. Constantly asking the question. But if you can shake free on those touchline situations, a bit, little bit of individual magic, and get yourself away like the Phoenix did last week, you'll get paid up. And it goes back post. To it shows uh, clean and safe pair of hands. And this is the problem for Sydney. They just can't get out. Can't get out. The, 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 do, the jaws are just clamping tighter and tighter. Wants it played in for him. And he drives it across and get a good stop by Janjetovic. Thiago tidies up. Thompson with a bit of a risky ball and anywhere will do for Ryle. And they get out a little bit scruffily, Sydney FC, but out nonetheless. Now Warren. Yaro Yao, not strong enough. Beecham just bumping him out of the way. Pekovic picks it up for the Sky Blues. 15 minutes to go in the derby. The Wanderers comfortable. Juric inviting the run of Bridge. It wasn't much of an invite, in truth. Garcia. Ali Abbas. for Carl, must have been chest, throw in Sydney FC. It's the Wanderers who are about to make a change, Tell the Juric's night's work is done, and he's going to be replaced by another former Sydney FC man, Shannon Cole, in the final quarter of an hour. And he's led the line well tonight, Tommy Juric. Yeah, there's a handful, a real handful, Tommy Juric. Beautiful passes from him last week against the Phoenix. Not the same sort of quality on display, but nevertheless, wasn't ever far from the action. Abbas on side. Right break for Carl. That's a tough call with his uh, first touch for us at the FC corner. Still no shot on target in the game for Sydney FC. Petkovic closest in the first half with that shot that cannon back off the crossbar. Nicky Carl. Trying to find room for the cross. Just uh, very little conviction about that from Carl. That's a second go at it. That's a better ball in. Might drop here for Yaro Yao. It's the side netting. Just needed more quality from Yariel. He hasn't had a lot to do. They haven't been able to find him. Nicky Carl got an opportunity a second time round where his first crossing effort was poor. He did find the Panamanian on the back stick and free. He didn't have the requisite technique to do anything more positive with that chance for Sydney FC. general terms, Andy, is there a way out of this malaise for Sydney FC? And of course, the Wanderers and Brisbane Raw last week are very good teams, but it does seem to be a bit of a problem for the Sky Blues, developing already. Yeah, well, last week was poor. I wouldn't say this is indicative of a malaise. The defending was poor for the two goals conceded. Uh, 
they've been there or thereabouts. I just reckon yari has got to get off the shoulder of those centre halves. Someone's got to drop the ball in behind for him. Coming short with the ball defence, not really his go. Thompson just gets it through for Kian AZ, breaks for Nick Carl. Here is Yaro Yao. And again, quality missing at the vital moments. And at the moments where Sydney in an attacking centre sense have come unstuck. But they're persevering. So in answer to your question again, Simon, I wouldn't be hitting the panic button if I'm Sydney or see that. A poor night last week, a really poor night against Brisbane. But they've been strong, they've been under enormous pressure and apart from two really woeful bits of defending, they've held firm under intense scrutiny from the Wanderers and they put teams under this sort of pressure every week. It's not about to get any easier for Sydney. Perth next week. Sydney wanted a foul there. Away race the Wanderers. This could tie the game up and finish it once and for all. Well, he's made a bit of a hash of that. Matteo Poliak with the goal gaping. He's, he's good enough to have done better. Should have been three. That would have been the end of the section. Well, the uh, goal attempts suggest that it's been pretty even, but the shots on target are perhaps the truest reflection of the game. sitting pretty at the moment. Sydney FC have got just under 10 minutes now to turn it around and of course the 80 minute mark signifies the Poznan whenever Western Sydney Wanderers are involved. It's a great sight. We might miss a goal here because Mark Bridge is onside and he's ridden the challenge or has he? And he goes under the weight of the challenge of Sir Royal. No suggestion of a penalty. Look at that again from Collins. That's incredible. With monotonous regularity. He's almost started to show, but it's the little uh, back flick. Completed and victory in this fourth Sydney derby, not too far away from being secured for Tony Popovich's side. Sydney FC have huffed and puffed, but never really threatened to blow the Wanderers' house down. Uh, barely put a foot wrong in the central park alongside Poliak who's down injured for the moment which might just allow Joel Kianese to escape this comes uh, top of Stanley to cover and again the Wanderers doubling up Beecham makes three there's just no way through yeah, pretty good placement up there here he is as doorman at the local nightclub you'd reckon and no way past top of Stanley and Beecham where does that leave Matt Speranovic, the uh, third member of the central defensive trio who's uh, yet to be sighted in a Wanderers jersey? As uh, Matteo Poliak receives some attention. Here's that challenge on Mark Bridge earlier by Seb Royal. And he got a piece of the ball, good tackle, no penalty, good decision.
closed down quickly by Santana. Good touch that by uh, Garcia. Warren, second favourite to it. It's broken for the Sydney FC fullback. Can he find the cross? No, but he can earn his team at corner. Well, if it's going to happen for the Sky Blues, Andy, you fancy it's got to be soon. Well, this is seven or eight corners now. And they've had plenty of territory. Final delivery has been poor, not just from corners, but in general. And this is ball in. Carl. It's a blast by Warren on target. Well, they've got one on target at last. It's taken till the 84th minute. There's no more really than catching practice for Ante Kovic. Well, now Petkovic has misjudged the bounce, this is Ono. And he uh, set the seal on the win for the Wanderers. Shannon Cole inside. And Rocker trying to pull the trigger. And Sydney clear through Thompson. Ono swinging it in. And some tired bodies out there now. There's a very fast tempo to the game, particularly in the first half. It's really just cantering towards the finish line. It's uh, a little too casual though from Bridge. Garcia. And the Abbas takes it clear of Poliak. Kianese outside him. Inside is Ryle. Garcia, heavy first touch. Suggestion that that ball went out of play there. It certainly seemed to have uh, crossed the whitewash. And now Sydney FC rather stretched at the back. Shannon Cole making good progress. It wasn't until he trod on the ball. Oh, that's clever. And clumsy from Cole. Maybe thought he had no option. He just got sucked into it, I reckon. Ball is out. It's clearly out. Sarah Ho obviously uh, taking her mind off proceedings for a fraction of a second. Well, here's the uh, third and final change for the Wanderers, and Shinji Ono gets a richly deserved round of applause. Best on ground for mine, Andy. Yeah, can't argue. Fabulous game. Taj Minikon, his replacement. Super display. <laughs> Wall of four for the Sky Blues. Cole clips it in. And it comes for Poliak who hits it. Rather ambitious. Theo Poliak is uh, happy to have extended his stay with the Wanderers after initially only signing a one-year deal. So he uh, loves it in Sydney's West. Why wouldn't you with uh, this fanatical backing behind them? All boxed in. Instead, it's Garcia. Kianese had uh, drifted inside, so there was no width for Sydney. But Jerome Pollens is having an absolute ball tonight. And Nicky Carl, and he's tried his luck once too often. That's that frustration as much as anything for Nicky Carl. They can't take a trick, they can't get away, they can't get free. They haven't once in this second half been able to. Ask Yara Yao if he fancies ch chasing one down. They just haven't had the time, you'd have to say, in their defence. Now, confirmation of the crowd tonight, 40,388. That is a new home and away regular season record for the Sky Blues, pre uh, beating last year's mark of 35-419 against the Newcastle Jets. Not quite their biggest A-League crowd ever. That remains the... Uh, 
League Grand Final of 05-06 against the Mariners. And a wonderful turnout for this Sydney derby. Fixture you'd imagine, which is uh, only going to grow as the years go by. It's only 12 months old, remember? It's quite remarkable, Andy. Well, you'd reckon they'll be rescheduling this for the Olympic Stadium before too much longer. We're getting carried away with ourselves, but the Wanderers are growing so quickly. Sydney FC have a big fan base. Frank Lowe will have to pinch himself to have even be harbouring discussions about club games at the Olympic Stadium. It is a little way off. We'll tell you, we're not getting carried away for ourselves, but that is the future. Presence belongs to the Western Sydney Wanderers into the final minute of normal time. They're doing it easy and looking for a third goal here. Oh, and Janjetovic almost caught out in his near post, and that really would have set the seal on a fantastic performance from Gerald Collins, who has been excellent tonight. The yeah, unstoppable so, so far this evening, the German. He's fancied this one. And the post saving Janjetovic. by Garcia frustrating night for those in sky blue second straight defeat looming after such a positive start in many ways against the Newcastle Jets Perth away next week never an easy trip then the big blue and home to Melbourne victory as we move into four minutes of stoppage time for their part uh, have Adelaide to come at Pertec Stadium next week the bragging rights about to head west heavy touch from Yao and he struggled to have an influence well that's not where I'd be wanting him to get the ball I'd be wanting him peeling off the shoulders Attacking the space which is plentiful behind Top or Stanley and Beecham. It's not an outlet that Sydney FC have been able to explore once in this second half. Too short. Michael Beecham has been very steady in the centre of that back line along with Nikolai Topol Stanley. We label them the two nightclub bouncers. The policeman. Whatever the description, it's apt. Thou shalt not pass. That's it, it, been formidable. A brilliant night out for the Wanderers. Fabulous game plan executed. Almost to the two. Tony Popovich take about more of the same. Building on their great inaugural season. Sydney FC have had the life squeezed out of them. Santalope for Cole. Just trying to tease it into that area where Bridge was waiting and he barges into Janjetovic. Clear foul. The ball over the top from Brendan Sandler. Good second half from him. And the high press on the ball carrier, which in this case was Thompson. We certainly are going to get a goal. It's going to be a little more than consolation, you'd think now. Thompson. Ideas. Well, they had too many, I don't think, in the first place. Well, you can't fault their efforts in the FC. No, no, they've just not been good enough. They, they haven't. Uh, they've been chasing the game when they need them because of poor defending. In the second half, they found it really difficult to get a foothold. They started positively, 
but they've never shirked the effort. They've really had a crack, but it's just been irrepressible, this Western Sydney Wanderers formation. And their hunger. Well, a good season in the offing, perhaps for the Wanderers. Some in Sky Blue have started to make for the exits. Disappointed. That team's display. This is the Wanderers we came to know and admire last season. Well, they've given an inch. Up in the air by Beecham. Helped on its way by Poliak. Thiago. Dying embers of a fascinating Sydney derby. Ali Abbas. It'll be a corner, but there'll be no time for it to be taken. It is all over. The Wanderers win for the second time here at Allianz Stadium. And in doing so, inflict Sydney FC's first home defeat since they came here and won by the same scoreline in December of last year. Sydney FC's downward spiral after their positive start continues. It's success for the Wanderers, for Tony Popovich. They wear the smiles. Sydney is red and black tonight. The Wanderers, the top dogs in the city. Two goals in the first half, more than enough. Jacopo Morocca and Shinji Ono on the score sheet. Sydney FC tried their hardest, but came up well, well short in the final analysis. The full-time scoreline, Sydney FC nil, Western Sydney Wanderers two. Andy, I don't think anybody could say that is an unfair reflection of the game. No, no argument whatsoever. So strong. And Sydney hung on and they tried, but they couldn't get the outlet out of midfield. Their transition was too slow. When players were in space, uh, which was a rare thing in the wide areas, their first touch oftentimes was back rather than forward to take advantage of whatever opportunity had come. And if you give the Wanderers even half a second to regroup, they'll do it. Their transition play is unbelievable. And I think that's what set the teams apart in general terms tonight in the specific analysis two shoddy pieces of defending by Sydney FC conceded the game but in general terms it was the transition to attack and from attack uh, by the Wanderers which was just incredible okay let's go down to Marcus opponent Thanks, Simon. Uh, Jacopo Larocco with me, uh, the hero uh, for Sydney, uh, Western Sydney Wanderers, uh, the first goal tonight. Uh, Jacopo, what was the feeling like for you scoring that first goal in front of this am amazing crowd? Yes, it was fantastic because uh, it was derby, you know. Derby is a different game and, uh, you know, uh, everyone now we are happy, you know. Club is happy, fans, uh, they are happy. Sydney is uh, red and black. You had your chance tonight because uh, of an injury to, to Aaron Moy. What was the instruction from the coach Tony Pop Popovich for you and for your team tonight? No, nothing. He say always uh, the same things because um, uh, everyone had to be ready and uh, I was ready today. I scored. I'm happy. And uh, now we're looking forward for next game. You really attacked tonight and put a lot of pressure on Sydney. A lot of the football we saw from you last year, a lot of pressure, high intensity. Did you feel that was missing in the first couple of weeks? Yes, I think so, because uh, I think now we are back after two, two games that uh, we are not very good. And now we are back and uh, I think now every team they had to be ready when uh, they play against us. Thank you for joining us. Enjoy the win. OK, thank you very much. Thank All right, Richie Garcia to join us now. Uh, Richie, uh, was it a...